everyone, it's Andrew from Make Believe Nails. How are you? So, machine order arrived. <laughs> I've had a couple of orders come today and this one I wanted to share with you. So, this is my box from Sheen. I only ordered it about a week ago. Maybe a little bit less, maybe six, five, six days ago. So, I'm well impressed. Um, So, in this box is... A load of stuff. I'm just cutting the box open. Um, so you're seeing stuff as soon as it comes out of the box, guys. So I bought just a load of, like, nail-related stuff and shears. Um, <laughs> so I bought, like, um, all stuff for, for within the salon, stuff for me, um, cute stuff. And, uh, yeah, I just wanted to share it with you. So the first thing that I actually decided to get was a new armrest for my clients a comfy cozy one so i got this one i got a pink one that was about two pound can't go wrong can you um it's big enough to rest both hands on i think i do do you a bit of a demonstration just so you can see so it is actually big enough and it does keep the hands up high enough for me so that's that's great really pleased with that back in your bag off you go so the next thing that we get, when I finally put that in its bag, is, oh, they're for my wax melts. I make wax melts as well. So I've got some little pumpkins, just because they're really cute. So instead of it, I'm just going to put that to one side because it's um, wax melt related. These are my favourite nail files. Uh, I always use the um, rectangle boards. It was just what I, I was trained in and I prefer them. So they're really good. They're 180, 100 grit files. Zebra files, really, really happy. Okay. And the next thing that's coming out of the box, I can't even remember what's coming out, what's gone in the box. You know, so they're little mini buffers because I do design and make and sell press on nails as well. Um, I've got an Instagram page for that. And also a Facebook page, um, so you can find that. So these are what I actually put in for people to file the natural nails um, or, you know, or buff, because I do say buff inside that, that nail as well when you get it. And then obviously etch your own nail and you get a better adhesion. These are what I use for getting rid of lines on detail work. I use eyelash glue removers because I love them um, and I can get right in where I want to if I've made a mistake. So there's my top tip for you. Now this is a bit bent. Sorry, you can hear my chihuahuas just having an argument. Um, it's four, uh, four stamping plates. So um, yeah, a bit bent, but you know, I'll sit on it for half an hour, it'll be fine. Warm up and bend back. <laughs> You can't grumble when it's only a quid because I kind of go into Sheen with like a limit on how much I'm spending because otherwise I'd get divorced. My husband just wouldn't have it. So here we have got a mini LED light. Look, it's a baby. It's a baby one. So I just thought these were really cute and it was super cheap. Um, I do. My limit normally on per item is like sometimes two pound um depending on the item of course um and it comes with its own little charger so i'm probably going to have a a little go of that and let you know what i think of it and if it's because i do a lot of nail art whether it's going to be good for that but i have seen something else that might be better for me and i like it um so i might get that as well so next out of the box is oh earrings i'm obsessed with earrings so these are actually abstract line faces and i also buy extra drill bit boxes um just because i like to have a drill bit box per client these are some i think those are starry night uh by van gogh um earrings because i do love my earrings these are halloween skull earrings <laughs> And you know, like you can't grumble when it's a pound or seventy five p. These are some stickers that I've got a cunning plan that I'm going to use. So there you go. So there's some flowers there, feathers, um, and some birds, I think. Um, so and the the white but like tonal 
white so the, the quite faded on one side and shaded swatch sticks because you can't have enough swatch sticks and these were one pound um and i go through them like the clappers so got some more of those as well what else did we get okay so i got this and i got this to actually photocopy because i use big ring binders but basically it is a nail template book um and it was again it was only a pound so yeah that's what that is um just so i can photocopy them use them i, I use I do all different designs on stuff and um i actually do designs on marker paper um and then i have a scrapbook that everything kind of goes into with kind of different it's just what I do. I don't know. Some people would think it's very sad, but I am quite obsessed with nails, so that's okay. So that can go down there. And then next we've got Halloween earrings. <laughs> you are going to notice I've got a slight obsession for earrings and it's a bit like out of control. So yeah, little ghost and little pumpkin. Love, 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 love those. Absolutely gorgeous. Mm -mm -mm. So next we have got Oh, this is um for summer, really. I just saw it, I thought it was so freaking cute. Um it's a, a tip holder for um when you're designing tips. So you get your little bit of blue tack on the inside of a tip and then you stick it to his head. <laughs> I just thought it was something different. So yeah, but there's uh, there's other ones I wanna get. I mean I saw um Natalie Mugridge had one the other day. Oh, it was a pumpkin. You, you've got to watch if you go over to natalie mugridge nail artist and have a look at what she got sent what she got from um i can't remember where she got it from you have to go over and have a look but yeah oh, i just want it I want it so bad so that's out the way and the next one is eyelash spoolies i go through them a lot so because the girls always pinch them and all you know my two girls so here we go, here's the next one. So I decided to get myself an Acrogel brush and spatula. So um, again, I think it's a pound 25. Can't grumble. In we go. Love it. And it's pink, obviously, because I've got a bit of obsession with pink and purple. These are the mini nail files that I put into my uh, press-on sets. Um, they come with everything you could possibly need when I send you a press-on set. So that's those to one side. These are nail tips for me and my clients. Um, so these are a long coffin. Um, I do like a coffin tip. So, and... I got some from there about three months ago and they were brilliant. So I thought, what the hey, let's do it again. Now, this is one of those tip cutters, right, that's supposed to measure things. So it's got no instructions. So watch me faff with it to work it out. OK, so I'm just like, mm -hmm -hmm. OK, so this goes on here some way. I put it on the wrong way twice and then I finally figure it out. Um, but yeah, it, its potential is there. Um, you know, so that'll be, uh, interesting. Definitely interesting. So you can see I'm going, how the hell does this go on here? How do, if that goes on there, honestly, you can feel my brain working. There you go. Bye, Joe. She's, no, she's not. No, that's not the right way, Andrew. You can tell. I bet you someone's got these and going, what are you doing, kid? You can see that's not going to work, is it, love? No. So it does take a bit of working out. So what I do is pick it up, turn it round the other way. Pop that on. And then you can see, I'm showing you how it works. It doesn't because it needs to click down further. Okay, and then that goes on. Like that. And then I put this on the wrong way around, just for, you know, shiz and giggles. Watch this. <laughs> oh, God, I don't know how I survive. So I just think, well, hey-ho, while we're here, 
I'll try tipping it so you can see what it does. So I'm just getting an extreme length tip that I've got loads of them. That you know the ones you just don't use. Now watch. Because if I've not put it on properly. I'm trying to figure out how I can show you. That's what I'm doing right. So I'm just showing you what. So that's that. In, oh. That's because I didn't do it. Look at the disappointment in that hand then. But you can see I'm showing you that, you know, your fingertip will go to that point and then it cuts. And then, you know, you do it again. And then it cuts. So, yeah, I'm just showing you. And then I'm like, no, I've bought this. I need to work out how this works with that little cap on. And I'm showing you again, just up it goes there and then clip down. So... It'll be uh, fun to see how it works. Um, but yeah, I think it'll just maybe speed things up a little bit. Who knows? Exactly. Who knows? And then I'm looking and thinking, how does that go on? And then I'm just testing it. Yeah, it works with that on. I'd put it on wrong. Um, and then we'll put a tip in and see if it pops off again. And if it does, it's going in the bin. But... There you go, it doesn't, it's in there. So that's all working all right up to now. Obviously, I don't think you could fit an acrylic, you couldn't fit anything with an overlay in it. That It just burst. Right, so these are mini sculpting tools. Um, these were only pound fifty. Um, so I've got some more of those because I use a lot of plasticine gel and stuff like that. Um, so that's staying over there. And then these magnetic fluffy pom-poms it's the fluffy time of year it's fluffy bauble time so i got a big pack of these and these were seven pounds so um there you go you can see what i'm going to do is show you that actually the magnets there that goes inside the nail and that sticks on and it's the good i'm doing myself a set with them on so i'm so excited i can't wait amazing yay i love them i absolutely love them i know a lot of people are like me yeah, well they look they don't like this and i'm like well i like them so that's cool and i think a couple of my clients will absolutely love them <laughs> so what's next let's have a look we have got oh these are my rubber duck earrings sorry guys Little rubber duck earrings just for me. I'm special on so many different levels. Oh well. Right, and they oh no. Right, these are bigger than what I thought in the picture. Right, so I thought this was tiny little set of earrings. No, look at the size of this violin. I could actually be in the Philharmonic Orchestra with it. It's huge. Look. <laughs> what the hell? I'm like, what in hell are those? No, but I'll still wear them because I'm just like that. If I'm like, I bought it, so I'll wear it. So, yeah, my little violin earrings. You know, the smallest violin in the world playing for you, but it's big. So I've got some sanding bands. These are actually fine grit. Um, for some reason, it does say hashtag 120 on, but that is not the grit, the 180 grit, the fine grit. Um... So, yeah, you can see that I'm actually looking at them and feeling the grit. And I'm like, no, they are fine grit. So, not a problem, just being packaged up wrong. So, I do the same again. And I'm like, hmm, yeah, okay. So, because I go through those, like, well, obviously, they get disposed every client. Um, disposed of myself every time. Every time I do the kids' nails um so yeah then i got some little halloween kind of uh encapsulation decals and bits um just for a bit of fun and funkiness why not there we go cute super cute so yeah there you are love 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 i can't you know sometimes when these boxes are new they hurt my fingers opening them. I'm like, Ugh. there we go. So now, supersonic. Okay, 
so happy with those and then i obviously i got another tip stand holder 75p then i got some uh gold skull um 3d embellishments but they've actually textured them i've got some scissor earrings i've got issues we know this um but there's 10 in that pack as well so i thought that was really good and then i got another stand um so i'm happy with that and then i got some um nail art stickers um just because there's like bats and devils and stuff on them so i was like mm, yes 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 then i got a crystal remover especially for crystals i don't want to use cuticle nippers um i just don't want to use them these are easier to handle the bigger um and the flat the they're bigger and flatter so they can get underneath the cut you know the edges of that crystal and just pop it off so and i also got these kind of pop arty graffiti uh decals because i thought mm, they might go nice with my pom-poms who knows we'll have a look and then here you can see i got some alice in wonderland earrings and some light bulb earrings for a day that i need inspiration and then i got some i'm trying to see what they are okay these are decals oh no they're not the 3d embellishments so i actually got some skulls and some um skeleton hands and this is to go on top of my nippers so i don't hurt myself or anyone else it's a little little cat's paw <laughs> doesn't fit on this one but i just show you look stop you hurting yourself goes over there okay so what is next do we have anything next yeah so i also got the scream um so i got that set of earrings and i got some mushrooms because they kind of go with me alice in wonderland aesthetic <laughs> Um, yeah, so um, I like to wear like funky earrings and that because I wear just plain for work, just plain black and it's like, oh man, I need some colour. So I got some autumn leaf um, photographic decoration bits as well. Um, and these were really cheap. I think they were 50p for 40 Um And the materials, so they're not going to have any glare off them. So yeah, I'm really happy with those. And the come in different shades so it's like mustard green red orange happy with those and then what else did it get oh these i love these liquid dispenser bottles so um i've always had one from a gel residue wipe off solution but now i want one for acetone on my desk and i also want one for water and it's because of how I use water decals on a stamper. Just so that I can just wet my brush. It's just there. Jobs are good and it's sorted, done. At the end of the day, we all want clients in. Bums on seats. Jobs are good and happy as Larry um, clients um, with whatever they're, you know. Some clients aren't willing to pay for hand-painted stuff. And they just, you know, they just want a sticker or a decal on it. And you know what? Customers are always right. I will give my customers that's what they want that's what they're getting um so i want the water on my desk so that i can just and it's not going to spill over it's not going to be in a saucer because i'm the clumsiest person i know so yeah happy with all those 3d bits and bobs um thank you so much for watching and if you haven't already please subscribe thanks again bye